Hey everyone, welcome to Lumist. In this video, we'll learn about the Peguvian tax and subsidies, which are government interventions to help markets with externalities reach the efficient outcome. Last video, we learned that when there is an externality, the free market equilibrium outcome is no longer efficient because it doesn't take into account the external costs and benefits. With a positive externality, the market transaction quantity is too low compared to the efficient outcome. And with a negative externality, the market transaction quantity is too high compared to the efficient outcome. If we want the market to reach an efficient result, we may need some market intervention policies to force the market to take into account the extra costs or benefits to external parties when determining the optimal price and quantity. There are many policies designed to manipulate the market prices and incentives to correct for market failures, but one of the most popular solutions is to have a Peguvian tax or subsidy by the government. A Peguvian tax is a per unit tax that is imposed on a good in order to correct the inefficiency of the market outcome caused by a negative externality. For example, we talked about last time that manufacturing goods will create pollution to society, which is an external cost that producers don't think about because they only consider their own private costs. Let's see this in a diagram. The original market equilibrium quantity is at Q star, where marginal private benefit equals to marginal private costs. We know that this is not an efficient market outcome because at Q star, the marginal social cost is greater than the marginal social benefit. So the product has been overproduced, which leads to a deadweight loss on society. To fix this market failure, we can impose a Peguvian tax on production equal to the external cost, making marginal private cost plus the Peguvian tax now equal to the marginal social cost. With the right amount of a Peguvian tax, the market equilibrium will be the efficient outcome because the market has been forced to internalize the externality. The external cost is reflected in the production cost through the Peguvian tax. So the producer will produce less and the market will transact the efficient quantity. Now let's take a look at a Peguvian subsidy, which is a per unit subsidy used to fix market failures caused by positive externalities. Positive externalities are the opposite of a negative externality. So intuitively, you'll know that a Peguvian subsidy will just create the opposite effect of a Peguvian tax. For example, we discussed in the last video that education creates a positive externality on society because educated people can create economic impacts on their community. However, since this external benefit is not reflected in the market, there is too little education being consumed. Federal grants that subsidize college education costs is a type of Peguvian subsidy that increases the amount of education that people receive. Let's look at the diagram. The original free market equilibrium quantity is at Q star, where MPB is equal to MPC. However, this is not the efficient outcome because we can see that at Q star, the marginal social benefit exceeds the marginal social cost, which means that there are still some valuable transactions to society that haven't yet taken place. So social welfare here is not maximized and there's deadweight loss. To fix the market failure, we provide a Peguvian subsidy to consumers equal to the external benefit, which will make the private a marginal private benefit plus the subsidy equal to the marginal social benefit. If we set the size of the subsidy exactly equal to the external benefit, then the market equilibrium will coincide with the efficient equilibrium. Providing a Pigovian subsidy is a way to get people to consume more because this lowers a consumer's marginal cost and therefore increases the value that consumers place on the good. So consumers will consume more and the right market quantity is transacted. Through this video, we have learned that with an optimal level of Peguvian tax or subsidy, where the tax is equal to the marginal external cost or the subsidy is equal to the marginal external benefit, we can force the free market to internalize the externality and we can reach the efficient outcome. 